What is up, you guys? Uh, Rackin' here. Today we are playing Fallout 4 Far Harbor. Um, this is my first video doing Far Harbor. Um, I just haven't really uh, felt like doing a video on it yet because nothing really interesting has happened. But, as you can tell from the title of the video, we are about to go to Vault 118. I'm going to quick save here. So, I heard this... Okay, let's... Shoot into the... Pearl robot here, but um, I heard this vault is supposed to be one of the most interesting vaults in the Fallout series. So yeah, and real quick, guys, I'm sorry for the lack of videos. Okay, my internet's been crap lately. I haven't been really able to do any. I've just been able to make the short ones. I haven't really been able to do like these little let's plays, whatever you call them. So yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, Far Harbor, I. It's okay so far. I don't think it's like amazing or anything. Uh, a story's been okay, I guess. Like I murdered all the child of Adam and stuff, but yeah. So apparently someone was murdered or something, so I'm supposed to investigate. Okay. Let's talk about my compensation first. Yeah. Consider this a retainer. Have a look at the crime scene. Uh, it's always pre-war money. I don't freaking care about pre war money. Okay. This vault's kind of different. Different kind of vault. That's where the overseer is supposed to be. I, I don't know if this. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Oh. Is this so I'm being a detective investigating the murderer. Well, I'm wearing like some weird fisherman outfit. But yeah, we, I did like those dumb simulation things. I don't even know if I finished them yet, but yeah. So. What does it say to do? Search the crime scene for clues. <coughs> so, more blood. Okay, let's follow the blood. The bullet trail. Ooh, fence buster. Take that. Ignore thirty percent of the target's damage. Okay, cool. Um, baseball bat. <laughs> what is this doing here? All right, I'm gonna talk to Maxwell. Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, robots. <laughs> but anyways, guys, real quick. Also, you guys love when I do these vault videos. Where I just go investigate the vault, so. Yeah. You guys love vault 81 and 75, so I thought, why not just do vault 118? Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You know, movie? Card movies here. I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects. Oh, this is like Psycho now. <laughs> With his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here. Never mind? That's like... Doesn't make any sense to say never mind. You would say, like, okay, that's all. I don't know. I heard the dialogue system is, like, fixed, but it doesn't really seem like it's fixed. That's a cool poster. <clears throat> of course, my stream always lagging as usual. Hello, Detective. 
Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Um. I think you're the murderer. The brain enclosure was smashed in, and your bat was at the scene of the crime. <laughs> I like how I'm talking like a detective. That's pretty cool. Would I possibly have to kill Ezra? Maybe you could give me a reason it couldn't be you. I, I, I would never harm Ezra, detective. I was in love with him. Love with him. <laughs> Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Tell me about yourself. We went over this before, Detective. There's no motive. Okay. I don't know yet, but I'll find the motive. No, you won't, Detective. I don't know what language my guy's speaking right now. He's really talking pretty, sh like, weirdly right now. Uh, they make like movies here or something, it looks like. Weird. I can sleep in this bed. Tired. <laughs> Streams are always lagging, it's freaking annoying. Pretty difficult getting in here to fight like fifty thousand ghouls. Can't talk. Okay. You like those, Mr. Handy's in Grey Garden. guy's voice art is life <laughs> without it we are animals are the sentience floating in a suit of flesh Jesus. or metal i suppose then art is the only true communion with the world come with me come with me You bleed. Just kidding. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of like a face. That spot is the eye. The red blotch is its hair, and it's sticking its tongue out. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number thirteen seventy-eight. Her emotions. Because this robot's really weird. Trees in space, I like it. It looks like trees in space. Maybe it's about the struggle to maintain. I have my charisma up, so I can like. Yeah. I don't even know how he gets up these stairs, to be honest. Is he gonna ask what this one looks like? And what about this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. This is bullshit. You're talking out your ass and wasting my time. Got it in one. Truth be told, this is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This guy's really freaking annoying.
yet to see my latest war? Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists <coughs> in the world. Sculpture or performance art as well. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear yeah. banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time, and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Never mind. <sighs> my fellow Wait. connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest war. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. There we go. inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this Wadiville from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands... What's going on? And on and on. Maybe later. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. Okay. It keeps telling me to talk to this guy. What's left to talk to? Never mind. Alright, forget him. He'll kill himself. Okay. Um uh, here, yeah, there we are. Did you need something? I like this guy's voice. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife. Oh, what else to say? Sorry, guys. This freaking Twitch thing sucks. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Was there something else, detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, detective? Tell me about your research. Well... I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Robo-Brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I, I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, you detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. No one else here really wants to talk about it. <laughs> uh, this This is a weird fault. I like 
that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else for Detective? Robo-brains have a voice modulator. Tell me about that. Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh, they can mimic <laughs> any normal human voice, actually. <coughs> I have speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Uh, maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else for Detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe later. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Juliana, yeah, Mr. Whiskers died last month. This is Cluffy. Remember? You're gonna have some more from this. Of course. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I have to ask every single one. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. You know, these robots are getting married. <laughs> how, do they, um, how do they reproduce? Maybe later. Just build, build new ones or then the, uh, you know... Hey guys, this stream is lagging a lot. Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Robotics is an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get inside the suit. It's not okay, so what do I do now? Okay, let's go up here then. How come, um, don't work or? Gosh, the stream won't stop lagging. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. This vault probably went away a long time ago. I thought I said I needed to go to freaking. No, let's see if there's any. Lagging! Nothing really in here. Business. 
listen to the tape. It take a freaking forever to get it. <laughs> well, 118 overseers tape. Yeah, guys, this DLC might not be the greatest, but it's at least better than that crap DLC we got last month. <laughs> Light years better than that. Because, yeah, this one. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault -Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold paint in the room. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Embezzling from his investigator. The door to the overseer's office is locked. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back. After finding out if one of the other residents had been inside, he said it wasn't safe. If the key isn't on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. It's weird how I say never mind. It's like... I don't know, that's the right thing to say. My fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest war. Never mind. So it's this 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 girl, okay. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, Detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. And have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Not a chance. Your <coughs> murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. so hard oh no this boss fight me boom I, l I love ah, I won't stop doing this I love how the thing just I love how it just doesn't even break the glass or whatever I think it's still the brain. Protect and serve. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened? Him. I killed him. 
He had a... You did the right thing. Detective. There you are, Detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. Oh my gosh, I don't need pre-war money. Heck. Is it pre-war money worth anything? Maybe I can switch it into dollars. Oh, they're both worth eight. Eight, um... Oh, okay, I can just trade them someplace. Alright. Okay, so... Is that it? <laughs> Alright. <coughs> That's um pretty much full eighty uh not eighty one one eighteen um I really hope you guys super thing keeps lagging uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video um I'll see you guys in the next one I'll try to do more Far Harbor things but I like I said my internet's been crap so it's been hard to get videos up so anyways guys um see you in the next video thanks for watching and uh, bye.